Okay, what's the plan this week? Let's go somewhere new. Let's talk about the issues living in Belfast. And let's talk about the progress in these videos. Gotta make another video, Amy. Gotta make another video. A week's pass. We gotta make another video. Gotta make another video, Amy. Gotta make another video. Gotta make another video, Amy. How's it going? Absolutely no one. That was a pretty good zoom out, but I think we can go even further. I can really see how people fall in love with camera lenses now. I've been using a stock 18 to 55 millimeter lens on my Canon, and I just picked up this 10 to 18 millimeter so I can get this wonderful wide angle view. Anyway, there's something I have to do. I'm dangerously bored. Let's find a way to repress and deny this by going out and doing some random activities. I'm off to the giant's ring, the site of an ancient Neolithic death cult. Heavy metal. Few people seem to come down this path. It's very secluded. It's a very thin path that has um, a lot of obstacles in the way to actually get in there. Even right now, it's quite difficult to walk through. My bag and my coat keeps catching on the thickets. I doubt this area is maintained very well, but it all adds to the adventure. Here we are at the Giant's Ring. And this place is actually so old, there's no recorded history about it. They do believe it was built around 2700 BC. Historians and archeologists are unsure as to whether it was used for a meeting spot or for a place of sacrifice and death. And speaking of hanging out, it's also recommended as a dogging spot on TripAdvisor. Okay, so check this out. Although it's an ancient monument, the car park of this place is more famous than the monument itself. It's notorious with dogging and cruising, and is best avoided at night as it's very secluded. Wow. That sounds... Th that sounds like here. And I gotta say, hanging out around this barren grassland isn't any less exciting than hanging out in Belfast city centre at the moment. This is just a normal weekday afternoon in Belfast in 2022. There's really some fantastic graffiti in our city, in serious juxtaposition and contrast to how dilapidated the city is now. Even the graffiti itself seems aware of how much the city has sunk in the past few years. And this is really what Belfast is. No see, no do. There used to be a few things to do in the city, but over the past few years, it's really dried up. And it was really starting to find its own place as a really contemporary and modern city that people would want to go to. But the past couple of years, you know exactly why. It's just been, the soul has been sucked out of it and it's really depressing to see. Now, don't get me wrong, I love this city. I want it to survive, but it seems as though it's lost a part of its soul, part of its energy over the past few years. And I just really want Belfast to be able to let loose and explore its potentiality again. If anything, it's a party city. For as run down as this city is, one thing it doesn't lack is aesthetic. And for someone with a real cyberpunk obsession, there's certainly no lack of spots to fill in sort of gritty cyberpunk scenes. Well, I don't know about you, but the start of 2022 has been a real letdown and a disappointment for me so far. At the start of 2021, you know, there was a thought that maybe some good things could happen this year, but and it's just so entrenched into all the bullshit happening in the world now that I feel like a part of my soul has literally been punctured just the damage that has been done. I watched a few videos about boredom from a spiritual perspective. What is happening is it's a resistance, a resistance to the reality of how you're feeling and how you're trying to run away from it is just going to make it more intense. So instead of repressing it, I'm trying to lead into it. Meditation really helps. This is something that's so hard to visualize because you expect it to be like fancy colors with psychedelic, pure enlightenment. But the reality is it's just you sitting there in the darkness, just trying to observe what is happening. Some videos I watch talk about a lack of focused attention being the reason for boredom. And I'm trying to take that on by being creative. It's really hard to make these videos every week. I don't think I'll be able to make it to even this shitty quality every week. 
but it really gives my life some meaning in amongst the sort of meaningless grinding of the rest of life. It's weird because I'm actually really, really motivated to do things at the minute. But one of the videos I watched suggested this great term that you have your foot on the accelerator and the brake at the same time. So the problem isn't trying to get out there and be productive. The problem is all the things that you're holding yourself back with. And those things we hold ourselves back from are usually those things we do repress and deny because we know facing them will be painful. But in order to move through and take our foot off the brakes so we can move forward, it's so important to confront that. With these videos, I can escape into creativity and a little bit of flow. Um, editing feels amazing, but it's incredibly time consuming. So shooting these isn't actually really a problem. I set up this little desk today to see how it looked for my zero subscribers. Anyway, this is all about feeling faster. So get this done, get it out and move on to the next one. See you later. Bye.